Hi and welcome to C Sharp tutorial of how to develop a text to speech. So let's click on speak. Video provides a powerful way to help you prove your point. When you click on we, my video, we can, you can pause. We can also resume. You can also type a keyword to search online for the video that best fits your doc. Stop. Speak. Video provides a powerful pause. A way to help resume. Prove your point. And stop okay what I'm going to do now is to take you guys straight into C sharp development environment and we'll put one of these together let's do that now okay let's start a new project by clicking on create new project okay let's give this project a name so I'm gonna call it C CS underscore speak there make sure C sharp is selected Windows Forms application, click on OK. Okay, the form is ready. Now let's go to the tools and let's grab the panel. Scroll right down. I just like it to look pretty. So let me grab a panel. I'm going to paste one here and just drag it along. Copy the same panel. Okay, now copy the same panel. Hold on to the control click and drag. And let's bring it in a little bit right that's the inside bit and one more one more panel for the buttons that's going to be right here I'll take it up yeah that's fine now I'm going to change the color of the background let's come to the back color I'm going to change that to powdered blue that should be in web right up here somewhere there we go now select this very one and change that to candidate blue and there we go the next thing i want to do now is let me add some buttons one button here one two click and hold the control three and four okay the next thing is i'm going to add which text box right there yeah there we go okay so let's just make the appearance look a little bit more presentable and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I am done now the next thing I like to do is let's go straight into the project here and let's select add reference because you do need reference to get the system dot speech and right here okay somewhere here we should be able to find the speech so i'm just going to type in the speech and let's press enter to look for it there we go that's it right there click and select okay there hopefully the speech must be there now now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on my form and right here the first thing I like to do is to import as follows so I'm going to say using system dot speech dot synthesizer and there we go there and right underneath public class there i'm going to enter the following variable so i've just created an object so the object's name is called sappy okay now i will then come here double click on that i'm going to now say btnrt speak right there so in there i'm going to say if let's go for rt speak dot text if is no value in it okay this stands for not so I'm going to now enter coil braces then sappy and sappy is the the object that I declare right up here that is it speech synthesizer sappy so that is the instant of an object declared right up there dot dispose there and sappy 
equals new that's going to be my speech synthesizer here enter the parentheses and that is it sappy dot let's just pick and what I would like Sappy to say would be right inside my rich text box dot text there else if there is nothing in there I will like press enter if there's nothing in there I would like Sappy to display the following message that's a message box dot show and that will be enter enter some text there we go enter there and that is the very first one we can even try this out if you guys want to see okay before that let me just close that up there's supposed to be column there okay now let's run it and see how it's gonna look like now let's enter enter some data so let's try that out enter some data all right then that's working fine close that now let's take care of the pools double click on pools in the case of the pools we just enter as follows there we go right so let's say we want to try that out now enter enter your name and your details all right let's try that out enter your name there we go pause Enter your name and enter your name and your details. Okay, that's fine. That's working fine. Now let's take care of the resume. There we go. In the case of the resume, that is it right there. But we're missing a. We're missing one. One quality bridge there. Yeah, that's fine. That is the case of the resume. Okay, so if I enter some data. Supposing I enter as, as follows. Video provides a powerful pause. Hey, to help you prove your point, when you click online video, pause. Let's video, resume. You can paste in the embed there. code for the video you want to add. Okay, now let's take care of the stop. Close that and now double click on the stop right there. And right there, guys, those are the lines of code to stop sappy from saying a word so let's enter some data in there and there let's try this out i wish i understand what's Bus going on there but for those of you who understand this language that's beautiful pause okay i'm gonna clear that let's say we we'll clear it and try something else. Paste. Let's try that out. Video provides a powerful you way see to that, help guys? prove your point. Pause. Resume. When you click online video and stop. And that video is how you create your to own test to speech. When you click online video, you can paste in the embed code for the video you want to add. You can also so with that guys i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it you all have a nice day now video provides a powerful way to help you prove your point